Today we're cooking up a smoked turkey breast on the Kamado Joe Kettle Joe. And if you don't want to have a Griswold holiday or Thanksgiving turkey, and you want to have a tender and juicy one, we'll stick around and I'll show you all the details. Let's prepare this turkey. This is a seven and a half pound bone in turkey breast. This is a great alternative if sides are also a feature in your holiday meal and it's a lot cheaper uh, and sometimes it's just a lot easier to cook and so that's what we're doing today and we're going to be dry brining this versus wet brining i'll have a link in the description with a great article on this uh, but just to say the least it just brings out the most flavor in my opinion and so we use some diamond kosher uh, crystal salt overnight and then as i pulled it out overnight i patted it dry and now we're going to do a few other steps to ensure that tender juicy uh, turkey is going to happen on this cook so we're going to butter inject it that's right i love butter injecting uh, any of my poultry it's so good so we're gonna make sure we get all different sides when we do this and then that's going to produce enough uh, juices on the outside that will be our binder and then i'm going to use one of my favorite uh, poultry rubs right here and I'm going to just spread it on all sides all over and it's going to give it a nice kind of a golden brown look to it but it's just got a great flavor profile I've got a great uh, video on using the same rub and also doing a one pot meal like we're doing today uh, on chicken and you definitely want to check that out so now that we've got uh, everything dry brined we've got the butter injected uh, already done in this turkey we added the rub now we're going to prepare the cast iron skillet what i like to do is you can put a little oil on the bottom uh, and what we're going to do is layer it with some cut up and quartered potatoes slice some onions whatever your preference is add some uh, different seasoning and some tomatoes as well and this is just going to give it a nice uh, just flavor profile you could add some herbs if you'd like uh, and we're going to sit this uh, turkey right on top and what my experience has been doing this uh, is it allows all the juices to be caught in this pan and then it mixes together with these potatoes and onions and tomatoes and just it, which those are just great sides in itself but then you get uh, just a great flavor profile and all of those ingredients and it catches it because what we're going to do is we're going to take all the juices at the end of this cook and make a side gravy in addition to the sides that are underneath the turkey so friends that's really good that's our process now i'm going to take you out and show you how we're going to set up the kamado joe kettle joe well as we set up the kettle joe we're using jealous devil lump charcoal and i have buried some pecan and also some poke, uh, post oak in here the very bottom filled it to the top with this lump charcoal i've opened up the vents make sure all the ash is out that's a good thing to do every cook and we're going to use the grill blazer grill torch to uh, light this up great way to light your charcoal in pretty much under a minute so here we go well i've got the kettle joe lit up as you can see got the bottom vent completely open i like to leave the top lid before i put the slow roller on i, make, I like to make sure that this gets caught with fire and it's um, pretty much turned over to white and you see a flame coming then i feel like man i got a good fire built up and then what we're going to do is we are going to raise the kettle joe put the slow roller on uh, secure it open up the top vent up here until we dial in that 350 uh, 300 to 350 today is what we're going for uh, and then we'll bring on the turkey breast and put it on so let's set it up all right i love one pan meals this is so simple we've dialed in the 350 with the slow roller in we've got that more clean blue smoke versus that white billowy smoke is which what you want to wait for i've got this dialed in to one finger uh width on both top and bottom vents we're ready we've got our um our meat stick digital thermometer placed in here to monitor the temperatures and we're gonna go ahead and place this on here
All right, my friends, we are going to shut this dome here in a moment. I'll go ahead and actually just do it now so I don't lose any heat. And we're gonna let this ride. This is one of the great things about one pan meals. All the prep work is on the front end. Now we're gonna let it ride till it hits 165. Then I'm gonna extract the turkey away and all the potatoes and all the other stuff and then uh, make a uh, turkey gravy from the juices. And then once we do that, we're letting the turkey rest. Then we got the turkey gravy. We'll pour it on there and do a final taste test. So stick around, let's get the smoke in. smell -o vision is here. Check out this smoked turkey breast. Let's slice into it and do a little slice show. I can't wait to do a final taste test. All right, so we have finished up the turkey. I'm using my thermopin to show you where we are on the temperature. We are around that 165 up top and on the sides around 170. The bottom are around the same temperature and as i'm looking at the bottom of this pan you i'll show you uh, as i'm talking but it's just probing like butter the potatoes the tomatoes it's going to be amazing and what we're going to do now is take this turkey breast off foil it let it rest for 15 minutes and then we're going to move all the potatoes and set them aside and then we're going to salvage all this juices and make a turkey gravy once i do that and after the 15 minute mark uh, we're going to drizzle that on a, a few slices, do a final taste test. So my friends, let's take this off and I'll see you back in a few minutes. So in review, we have foiled this turkey breast, let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes, and then we made our own little turkey gravy, and we kept all the juices in the cast iron skillet, added some water, some stock as well, and one fourth tablespoon of flour, mixed it, and we brought it to a boil until then we simmered it for about three or four minutes until we got the great uh, fluid that we're looking at, and then we poured that on the turkey. So we just showed you that little slicing show and it was incredible. Now it's time to do a taste test, so let's do it. All right, it's time for the final taste test. This gravy, this turkey, it smells amazing. And we've got a little of the potatoes and also the tomatoes and onions as a side. And my friends, this was a total of a three hour smoked all the preparation was on the front end and then we just let it ride until it hit that 165 degrees that we were looking for. So let's just dive in here, see if I can get a little of that gravy and some of the turkey. Here we go. My gosh. Flavor explosion. Let's uh, do the potato. Also onion and tomato. Mm. Wow. Man, <laughs> this was a delicious smoked turkey breast. I love all the flavors coming together. So this, uh, this seasoning that we put on here has kind of a little whiskey to it. It's just so tasty on poultry. The gravy, the smoke profile, again, only took three hours adding that gravy and the sides and just all the juices, plus the butter injection. All these things gave it a tender uh, and tasty um, bite here. I mean, I'm, I would say this was a winner. Turkey dinner, come on now. So, hey, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, super grateful uh, for you as a community not only just watching, but also sharing your ideas because I love learning from you as well as we're on this barbecue journey together. Let me know in the comments what you thought was helpful, what you liked the most, or if even if you've done something slightly different, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and again, thank you for watching this video. Let YouTube know by liking, subscribing, turning on the notifications. You know what to do. Super grateful for you. Uh, and again, from my backyard to yours, less hate, more love. Good barbecue. Till next time. <laughs>